P2. So last week we looked at squares and rectangles. Hopefully you all found the worksheets nice and easy. This week we're going to look at rhombuses and trapezium. So we're continuing with 2D shapes. So let's get straight into it. So um, Jeremy uses geo strips. These geo strips are like these pieces of card with multiple holes on. Um, they're off the same length and he makes a square. See, nice and easy. He's put a pin in each corner and all four sides are the equal length. So it's a square. But what he then does, he pushes the side of the square to form the 2D shape shown below. So what is this shape now? And are the lengths still the same size? Well, we can rotate this 2D shape. It's still the same length, isn't it? Yeah, it's, we can still move it around. So this is what we call a rhombus. The lengths of the sides are still the same. So I always think square and rhombus are pretty much the same thing. A square, though, has a 90-degree angle, whereas a rhombus is a square pushed over, yeah, tilted to the side. So you see, it could even rotate and look like this. So these are all rhombuses, rhombuses. They all have four equal sides. So circle the rhombuses below. Well, we know this isn't four equal sides, and we know that's a rectangle. That's not four equal sides. So we can have a good guess that that's going to be one. That's the second one. And there's a third one. Okay. We know that these two are definitely not rhombuses. So rhombuses can look in any kind of way. You've just got to Imagine the line, are they the same size all the way around? Four equal sides, the same as squares, yeah? The only difference is that the angles, yeah? So the difference between a square and a rhombus is a square has four equal sides and four right angles. Okay, trapezium. Um... This is a quadrilateral, and it's called a trapezium. So we can see these stairs, the two lines, the two ladders are moving up to each other. Yeah, if I take two pencils and hold them, you can see that they're moving up towards each other. <coughs> this quadrilateral shape made in the middle is called a trapezium. Can you find more trapeziums in this picture? The answer is shown on the right. So, yep, all of these are a trapezium. And this broom is a trapezium, and we can see that this dustpan here is also a trapezium. We can cut some pieces of rectangular paper to form trapeziums, as shown below. So if we make a cut this way, we can see that we made one trapezium here. We can make two cuts this way. We've got another trapezium. We've got a, this is the same one as this, but in a different orientation. And... We've got one which is almost looks like a rhombus, okay? But we know that it's got two unequal sides, so it's not a rhombus. So measure the length of the uh, arrows in each trapezium, and we can see what the special relationship is. Ah, so from top to bottom, they're all the same size. I found the lengths of each pair of the arrows in each trapezium above are the same. Okay, that's interesting. So let's circle all the trapeziums below. Well, we've got one there. Then the second one here, that's definitely not one. This third one could be, yep. This fourth one is yes. And can I get the same measurement like these ones? Nope, I don't think it is. Okay. So let's draw two straight lines on each paper below so we can uh so that each of them forms four trapeziums so how are we going to draw two straight lines on these shapes so we can draw one straight line there which makes us a rectangle on either side and then we draw one line going diagonally through and look we've got one two three four trapeziums and look we're going to do the exact same on a rectangle Yep, so one line going through the middle, create two more rectangles, and then we draw a line. We've got one, two, three, four uh, trapeziums. 
Okay, so that's it. Nice and short video um, explaining what rhombuses and uh, trapeziums are. So you've got three more worksheets. Give them a go. It should be nice and easy for you.